Behind every spectacular home design is vision, imagination, and attention to detail. What becomes the final product is a result of months of planning and hard work. Space by space, we're going to show you exactly how that happens. I'm Becky. And I'm Brett. We're siblings who build custom homes together and have a lot of fun doing it. Sometimes too much fun. Come along for the journey from rendering to reality. Come on, Brett, let's go. Here are some of our favorites. Beachfront's light soak space, Villa Bonita, which features a sky high 20 foot ceiling, and my personal home, Family Ties, which brings the flow of the kitchen right into the living space. When you're building custom homes, there's a few points of the project that I think you can celebrate. The victory of completing a home for a client and they love it. I remember one time I finished a home and a, a few weeks later the client called me and he said, Brett, my wife and I, every day we wake up, we pinch ourselves and say, I can't believe we live in this home. And there's not a better feeling than to have somebody yeah. appreciate the work you do, the design you do, yeah. and the home you've built for them because you're, you're really trying to help them realize their dreams. And I think that's a victory. Well, I know. And they're spending so much money and you really, when they're grateful and and they appreciate that, or they appreciate that and they appreciate you for what you've done, it, there's no better feeling than to feel like yeah. appreciated for all the hard work because, or you know, all the problem solving that goes along with it. I've celebrated a few victories by myself in my truck, just <laughs> giving a hoop and a ha holler. And <laughs> I believe it. <laughs> I feel like this family ties that we did together, this was Brett's personal home. And so there was a lot of emotion wrapped up in that. And when that one was completed, I feel like we celebrated. We've gone to dinners and we've had dinners here. And there's been a lot of celebration around this project that we did, yeah. for sure. I think anytime you have a heavy effort, we've had a few homes where the client was so happy with their finished product that they did a celebratory oh. dinner for for us. All the teammates involved. Yeah. So, you know, every one of the subcontractors, suppliers, and us. And it just is a great way to show appreciation and, and again, celebrate the win because it is a, a labor stressful, yeah. labor intensive, you know. It's a labor of love, really. I mean, we're I both mean, passionate about it, but it's a ton of work and ton of behind the scenes work that I feel like most people don't realize. There's just a lot that goes into it. There's so much so, emotion. I mm -hmm. mean, you think we have emotion and stress. <laughs> it's, I mean, it's an emotional roller coaster. Yeah. And to get to the end and realize that you've executed the design and they're happy and the and construction, you're happy. It's, yeah. you have to celebrate it. It feels great. Yeah. I, I think living rooms are also part of the heart of the home. They're usually connected to your, to your kitchen where you're spending most of the time. And I feel like, you know, that's living room kitchen is kind of where I like to spend most of the budget. That's just where everyone hangs out. Your friends are there, your family's there, you're eating, you're talking. So I feel like living room is super important. And That's usually the first area yeah. you start to discuss and how you want to use it. How big you want it. I'm a huge fan and component for an open floor plan with the dining, the living, the kitchen, and all working together. Because a lot of times, you know, I, in fact, I was just talking to my wife about this just a couple days ago. You know, if you want to entertain, sometimes that has to be a little flexible if you want to have multiple tables and you want to, you know, have more people more than normal. Families. You kind of need to move some things around and, and it becomes an area of a little bit of flex. Now I want to show you what it takes to design a living room. I mean, when you're designing a living room, I know we've designed and built a ton yeah. of them together, but what do you, what's your starting point on a living room? Um, I feel like a lot of the time I'll start with maybe the fireplace wall and figure out where, where are we putting the TV? Where are we putting, usually everyone wants a TV in that, you know, family room living space and where are we going to put that? Is it going to be over the fireplace? Is it going to be on one side or is there built-ins? That's kind of where I start. That's kind of your focal point in the living room. I think one of the questions we get asked the most, whether yeah. it's on social media or other places yeah. on, you know, on model home tours, is the size. Like, what is an ideal size yeah, for a living room? And, and maybe you show a picture on social media and it's like, how big is yeah. that living room? And so, I mean, that becomes another element. Like, is there an ideal size in your mind or what? I feel like it depends on, you know, what you're using it for, but I probably 20 by 25 is a good size. And depending on if that's like bleeding into your 
also your dining space, like you have to take that into account, but I think that's... I think if it were, you're right, I think if you use the yeah. space right, yeah. you can bleed some of that space into, yeah. you know, a dining mm -hmm. or a kitchen area. And, you know, because I think it's nice to sit in the living room and to be able to communicate with, with the people, kitchen. Yeah. and you're not yelling and, across the room. Yeah, yeah. I, I think it all kind of works together. Yeah. So, I, I mean, if you can create a great room that's great with the living, the dining, and the kitchen, it just becomes, you know, yeah. used together. When designing a living room, you know, depending on what the focal point is, which is usually a fireplace or some kind of built-in wall, I kind of start there and then build from there. And for viewpoint, we, we're doing a huge stone fireplace. It's massive. Um, for, for family ties, we also did a stone fireplace. And I think that's kind of where we started. And then kind of from there, we bring in some of the softer textiles. You can see here, just in some of the samples that I picked, they're almost looking like a cement, limestone, just super neutral. But when I'm selecting the furniture, the base and maybe your sofa can be neutral and then I add in color in the rug and in the, the textiles, the pillows. I love to add, add texture either in the ceiling or the fireplace. Um, we do it with baskets or just having it feel like a layered comfortable look because that is where everyone hangs out. And usually it's connected to the kitchen. You want to make sure that all flows well together and that it, you just feel like you want to come and sit down and hang out with your family or friends and just stay a while. Most of our living rooms that we've done recently have huge windows and how we kind of try to incorporate some of that outside in. We use some of similar colors. In your living spaces, especially the living room, we like to incorporate a lot of um, natural light. So we tend to do huge windows, almost floor to ceiling windows that are bringing in all this light that just makes it feel so bright and airy. And we love to bring in some of those natural elements that are outside, inside, whether it's stone or just any of the greenery, just kind of bringing that in just makes you feel just like it's just a cohesive look and it's and it kind of blends with all the outside with your huge windows. So these are the renderings for Viewpoint and you can see that we used a lot of rock and we, we kind of used a lot of detail and then the fireplace is pretty simple for the living room. We just kind of chose one solid color because on each side is kind of going to be rock and there's a built-in and I think Brett's right there right now. You can go check it out with him and see the construction process and how we kind of get to the finished product. You know, I think as you go from design to construction, a living room is one where I really rely a lot upon Becky's design and her renderings to showcase how the, you know, the fireplace and the cabinets and the kitchen and, you know, they all work together with the living room and it's, it's, that's one of the areas I think we really rely on each other. And when I take Becky's renderings of the living room, I'm able to take those, share them with the guys I work with, and we can turn it into a, a really cool finished product. Here we are on the construction site of the parade home, the living room. It's a mess. You can see every, we got a lot going on over here. We've got drywall where the couch is going. We've got insulation everywhere. It's a construction site for sure. There's a lot going on, but you can kind of see if you can take a, vintage, a vision from Becky's drawing to what the actual is going to be, you'll see that it's going to turn out great. I love the open nature of this living room. You've got a two-story huge tall wide window and the bottom portion of it slides so you have most of that window slides open to a door that walks right onto a pool area. It's going to be so nice for that indoor outdoor living. And then as far as the, the indoor living you've got a couch with a really cool fireplace design. I, I'm excited about how this is going to turn out. You know it carries all the way up to the second level. Comfortable. Again not a large space but comfortable enough to fit friends and family and, and just with the two-story nature of this living room, I think it's going to feel so much more open and so much bigger than the space actually shows. Viewpoint's 
pretty much all connected. You walk in, there's an entry, and it's connected to the living space, which is connected to the kitchen, which is connected to the dining. It's all connected, but it's a really big space. And um, yeah. the thing I love about that is it connects to the outside too. Yeah, and also, yeah. I mean, you've got you these seamless glass yeah. windows that like yep. carry your eye outside. Yep. And so you've got the dining. Remember, that has two islands in it too. Yeah. So you've got the two islands, you've got the dining space, yeah. the great room space, and it's connected, you know, the entry's just in front of that. And that, I mean, that one is a killer space. Yeah. So now we're going to the construction of the living room. This has got to be one of the more impressive living rooms that we've done. It's huge, it's impressive. The outside coming in, check out this fireplace. This is a 12 foot long linear firebox that's floating off the ground, both the upper and the lower section of this firebox is just kind of floating there. And when you look at the rendering that Becky's done, and we're, you know, we're gonna nail it with, with just this floating hearth, it's gonna look awesome. I mean, I'm super excited about that. And we've already, you know, it's something you have to do beforehand. You have to plan for the, you know, the floor outlets. We've got those exactly where Becky wants them for a little extra subtle lighting. And then you can see the these red, speaker boxes those are for you know your music and your sound just all the ambiance the lighting the sound the, the views the windows everything coming together to make this perfect room this is one thing i really love about this room actually when we started this house those two far corners were columns that went up actually they they came in a little bit further and went up just for support but as we got up here and looked at this view with the homeowner and the designer, it was so impressive that we decided to, to put a little more structural steel into the project and bring those support columns back. So you have this whole open view window all the way up and it's, I mean, gosh, look at that. It is unbelievable. Revealing a living room is super important because that's where everyone spends most of their time. They're so excited. That's where they're gonna hang out and I love the reveal of the living room. Living room is super important. Obviously, we all hang out there most of the time. It's usually connected to the kitchen. I usually like to put a lot of budget in living room kitchen areas, so yeah, that's you do. one thing. <laughs> Don't worry about it. <laughs> so that's one thing we focus on a lot. In this house, there's a banquette that you can hang out in, the dining and the great room. Let's Come go on inside. check it out. <laughs> Beachfront living room, I feel like you come around the corner from the entry and it just, you see right outside, you see the view, the doors open up. It's all pretty na um, neutral tones, but yet, we, and then we have a few beams in the ceiling. I just, it really draws you in and it really gives you that beachy vibe, just kind of laid back, relaxed. I love that living room. When that room was first revealed, yeah. I remember myself and the homeowner almost like giddy with yeah. excitement. I yeah. mean, he, he, had, he was so excited about it and it, like he just like, yeah. It was like a little kid yeah. in a candy store. <laughs> I mean, he saw that it just as your furniture and everything came together and you look out the mm -hmm. windows and it just, the, yeah. the living room tied into the kitchen and the dining room, it all just yeah. came together. And I think that's why that was one of my favorites just because yeah. it just, it looks so fresh and it was yeah. unique and it was just It's hard to visualize awesome. once until everything's done and you really do have a reveal and all the furniture's in. It is hard to visualize. Is it all gonna fit? Is it all gonna work? And then once it's all laid out, I think that's just, why it was so rewarding. Yeah. Is because it was so stressful to get there. Yeah, it I mean, was a quick was a timeline, tight was, timeline, a yeah. tight budget. Yeah, and everything was like stressful and it all came from together. the start to the end. Yeah. And we got there, and it was just like relief. Sit in the <laughs> relief, room and then and gratefulness just, uh, that it that it turned out I the mean, way it did. We were yeah. it, it turned out. That so. was an awesome reveal. Yeah, here we are in the beachfront living room, and. There's a ton of texture, there's a ton of light. It's an indoor, outdoor space. Brett did these amazing doors. When you have a view like this, you want it to feel like you can sit around the gathering room and, and look, look out. And, and so I think creating a big view window, and, and this one's actually a view window, but it also becomes an opening door. So you can open, you know, three fourths of this door to the outside. So it just brings the outside in. And we use a lot of like the blue tones because there's a huge pool in the backyard. Blue and textures and just made it really feel beachy. 
there's sand, there's sand out there by the pool, there's sandy colors in here. We just kind of brought the outdoors in to just give that whole feeling of light and bright and beachy. Like if you look at this stone, you kind of have stone going in through the window frame, out, and so it transitions easily. And so that's another way we, you know, yeah. kind of help this room feel bigger as you look through the glass. And it added a lot of texture too. And we have open shelving on each side of the fireplace. That's just the wood to kind of break up all the white and light. And even the stone gives texture, but so does the wood and it warms it up. So we have a huge coffee table in the middle because it's pr a pretty big space for a large group. We kind of wanted wood just to break up all the fabric in there. There's a lot of seating. So we have two sofas and two chairs. So for this house, we chose a linear fireplace. We've done a lot of these linear flame fireplaces. A lot of them, you know, have just a linear flame look. You know, some of these new fireplaces, you can do a back lit, a top lit, a bottom lit that, that glows even without the fireplace on. So you get the ambiance when you don't need the heat. This one's about 42 inches wide. You can go, I mean, we've actually done linear fireplaces as long as 12 to 15 feet long, um, just to create a look across the whole great room. I love that stone that we put on there because it's smooth and next to it, right next to it is limestone but it's more of a rough so it just added some kind of texture element just to kind of break up those two spaces. For me the artwork around the fireplace just adds just some kind of color because everything was so light and white so I feel like it breaks up all that and then we chose to just do like picture lights over them just to add, for me lighting is like jewelry so anytime I can add lighting anywhere I want to add it. I love lighting. You add it, whether we have budget or not. <laughs> I know. But we I'll, did, I'll, yeah. I'll we try did. to add eye lighting wherever I can, in hallways, anywhere, wherever we can. We've had a few battles on that. Yeah, yeah, we have. So there you have it, the beachfront living room. We love the light, bright airiness of it. We love the textures. We love everything about it. I love the way it feels, indoor, outdoor. It turned out great. I love your design. You did a great job. It feels good. Everybody seems to love it. So one down, let's go check out the other one. Yeah. Here we are in Villa Bonita living room and um, obviously we talked about this a little bit before but one of the main focal points in this room is the fireplace. We picked the stone because it was warm and it had a little taupey colors and it wasn't just a white stone and so I feel like it adds a whole nother element in this space. I love the flanking cabinetry on the, on the fireplace wall. I love the reeded cabinets we used for the built-ins and the color just turned out so well with the stone. It just complements it. We used brass hardware just to tie it together. Also a brass light above on that cabinetry and I think it just flowed wow. super nice. I think one way to make a great room feel good is to go you know, two stories, mm -hmm. you know, have that open feel. If you look at the ceiling height, we're about 20 feet tall on this, and it carries that, that fireplace element as it goes all the way up to the yeah. second story, it just makes it feel the just- The fact that it's stone that too, much more custom. substantial yeah. and- It looks good. Yeah. I love the tall ceilings. You can see we put nice speakers in to get some sound and some flow in it, but check out that epic <laughs> chandelier. I mean, you did a I great mean, job on that. That one's huge. It's a huge brass chandelier that just, I feel like, makes this space also just brings down the ceiling a little bit to make it a little cozy, but it is nice to have that little piece of jewelry yeah. over your head. I think there's always one piece you want to put in a house that no matter how much it costs, it just makes a statement. Yeah. And it's that piece that everybody talks about, right? Whether it's the, you know, the chandelier like this, yeah. it's like, it makes it worth the cost because everybody loves it and talks about it. And that's, I think that's what you get with a chandelier like that. Yeah, it is really pretty. It turned out really nice. We use natural elements, we use a lot of wood, wood tones and grays and neutrals and I feel like it really just came together. It blends well with the kitchen which is also connected to this space so I think it all blended well and there is a lot of textures with the stone and we use some baskets and it just feels really nice in here. I love like as you see it you know before it's revealed at the end, yeah. you see it in framing stage, you yeah. see it in drywall stage, you see it in the ugly phases, and then you see the paint and the flooring yeah. come together. And then when you furnish it and you put the, the yard in and the windows are, are clean, yeah. <laughs> you know, and then the natural light and the oh, chandelier, the light, awesome. the light in that house is unbelievable. unbelievable. Yeah. And so to see that, I mean, at the golden hour, like in yeah. the evening, it just glows and it's so pretty. Yeah. 
And I think you nailed that yeah. living room. I think one thing you did with the cabinets is you went with a different color. I mean, yeah. you got the kitchen that's white and oak, yeah. but here we brought in a darker color. Um, you know, not dark, but more yeah. of a, a colored cabinet. And then here's one area to save a little bit of cost. You know, she, you wanted to do those reeded cabinets yeah. throughout the whole house, but we got a we, bid from the cabinet guy and it was unbelievable, <laughs> the price. It makes it look great. It did elevate this great room. I wish we could have done it in more parts of the house, but it was, the it color, worked out. And it, comes, yeah. it plays off of the fireplace well. Yeah. That's one of my favorite new colors is these cabinets, just because I feel like it's, it's almost a taupey warm gray, but it doesn't feel too cool or too warm. It's just a perfect blend with the stone. I love the two-story window design. Yeah. You know, you, we, you kind of when you're in here at the golden hour, just as it's getting yeah. dusk, um, it's so the pretty. lighting is here is so great. And a lot of it's just the natural light that comes through the two-story windows. Yeah. Um, it just makes for a great feel and a great look, and it just it feels inviting. Yeah. I love it. And again, they're the matte black, so they offset all the white that's in here, and I think it turned out really well. So in here, we did not do a linear fireplace. It's just kind of a more traditional square box, fire box, and with a, with a hearth. And I love how it feels. It feels cozy and warm, and it doesn't feel quite as modern as some of the other ones we saw earlier. And I think it turned out super good. Um, also, the mantle, I love, yeah, I love the, the mantle. Yeah. I think the mantle you did just fits with the traditional look. Mm -hmm. And it also protects the TV, because you got to protect the TV yeah. from the fire. <laughs> but I, think it, yes, I it think it turned out great. So in the living room, we have two flanking cabinets. And we chose a little picture light to go over the top. and. The finish on those are gold and matte black, and I feel like throughout this whole space, it's pretty open with the kitchen and the living room, and we use those, the gold and the matte black throughout, and so bringing that into the living room kind of made the whole space cohesive, and I feel like it turned out really well. I'm super happy with how it ended up. Yeah, it turned out good. I mean, here's another thing that you have to coordinate between the electrician and the cabinet guy to yeah. make sure that the they lighting's both work in place together. And, and, yeah. You know, because it's, if it's coming out of the cabinets, you've got to make sure that they're both on the same yeah. page. And I think, <laughs> I, I think, think we I, got it. I think we got it. So there you have it. The Villa Bonita great room. Turned out great. Love the space. Love the feel. Love the natural light. Love the fireplace. There's a lot of love about this. <laughs> it turned out awesome. We love it. So, so what do you do? I don't know. What do you think? Let's yeah, go check huh? out the next one. Let's do it. Here we are in Family Ties. We're in the living room, and one of the, probably the biggest thing we get asked about is this fireplace right behind us. It's huge, it goes all the way up to the ceiling. It has a lot of texture. We love the, rock, the limestone rock. I think it adds such a great detail to the otherwise pretty neutral space. No, it is a, actually amazing to look at what yeah. you started with, your yeah. vision, and then how it was executed. Yeah. I mean, it just tells me that you did a good job on the design. You did too. It's uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> a feel good. <laughs> It's a feel good space. But anyway, I, I think, you know, as you take the rendering and try to turn it into reality with, you know, the execution yeah. and the cabinets and the, the light fixtures and the location of everything mm -hmm. and, you know, the flooring and it, it, it all comes together and looks like the drawing. And, and so, I mean, that's actually a great way to help People clients visualize. get a visual. But you, I mean, yeah, you, it's hard to see too, the colors, like, is it all going to work together? You see yeah. it, it might feel flat or something. But then when you get in the space, it just yeah. comes to life. And but like, you know, I've yeah. had people say at your renderings, like, is that yeah. is that the actual house or is that a drawing? Yeah. So so you make them look real and then you build it the same way and, and it just, I, I don't know. It's just, everybody needs a visual. Yeah, everybody I needs do. I do. something I need for sure. to, to look at yeah. so they can say, this is what I want. Can you and make it like yeah. this? And you do such a good job with like helping people see what it could look like. Yeah. But I love... Like you said, the fireplace, the cabinets that flank it. I love those lights. You picked out some great lights. Good job. These are the Ivy lights after my daughter. I love those lights too. <laughs> <laughs> well, like I said, everything's pretty neutral, but the built-ins have the black bottom, the white top, just to add a little bit of interest. And we did gold sconces on there. And I think that it just really tied in together with the kitchen since it's all pretty much connected. We decided to do a sectional. Just there's a lot of kids in this home and they wanted it really comfortable. And actually the sectional is one of our most talked about. It's super comfortable. It's a nice, nice width and it's just somewhere where everyone loves to hang out. 
We went pretty neutral in this space. We added some black with wood frame chairs and I think that added a lot to the space. I love to do, when you walk in the entry, I love to do a chair so you can see the back. It's a pretty back of a chair and you're not just walking right into a sofa. The rug is just a nice neutral gray and I think it all tied together nicely. So one of the things I love about this room is the natural light that bleeds through those windows. You know, you've got two-story windows, large format. They give your view to the back, to the pool area, to the backyard, and it just, it totally invites you to the outside space. Yeah. I love the feel. Like in the living room is such a critical place in the home. You know, you've got the gathering, the family, everybody kind of meets around there the important things, the way it's designed, the way it's lit, everything kind of comes together and it's important to deliver a great living room. I feel like living rooms are super important because that's where everyone is. That's where everyone's hanging out. That's where everyone wants to be. When you're all together, you're just hanging out in your living room. You're having fun and you're all together and that's the most important thing. <laughs>